How to fix service advanced track light. To ensure the proper and safe functioning of your vehicle, it's important to address the service advanced track light. Follow these necessary steps to get an idea of how to fix the service advanced track warning light. Step 1. Check for obvious issues. Initially, inspect the wheels, tires, and surrounding areas for any visible damage, disconnected components, or loose wires. A simple visual check may identify and fix the problem. Step 2. Turn off and restart. Turn off the engine, wait a few minutes, and restart the vehicle. A temporary glitch in the system may trigger the warning light, and a restart can clear this issue. Step 3. Check the user manual. Consult your vehicle's owner's manual for specific information on the service advanced track warning light. It may include troubleshooting tips and information about the warning light, which can vary depending on the make and model of your vehicle. Step 4. Inspect wheel speed sensors. The advanced track system relies on wheel speed sensors, so it's essential to inspect them for dirt, damage, or misalignment. Repositioning or cleaning the sensors regularly may resolve the issue. Step 5. Check fluid levels. Ensure that the brake fluid level is within the recommended range, as low brake fluid affects the ABS module, a closely related component to the advanced track system. Step 6. Scan for Diagnostic Trouble Codes DTCs. Use an onboard Diagnostics OBD2 scanner to retrieve any diagnostic trouble codes associated with the warning light. These codes provide valuable information about the specific issue triggering the warning. Step 7. Professional Diagnosis. If you are unable to identify or solve a problem with your advanced track system, it is best to seek the help of a qualified mechanic or technician. They have specialized diagnostic equipment and expertise to accurately pinpoint the issue. Step 8. Repairs or component replacement. Based on their diagnostic findings, the mechanic may recommend repairs or replacement of damaged, worn components such as sensors, wires, the ABS module, or other related components. Step 9. Clearing the warning light. Once the issue is resolved, the mechanic uses diagnostic equipment to clear the warning light from the vehicle's computer system to confirm that the problem has been fixed. Step 10. Test Drive. It is important to take your vehicle for a test drive after these steps to ensure that the service advanced track light remains off and the system functions properly. This final step will confirm that the issue has been resolved successfully. Remember, Driving a vehicle with a malfunctioning advanced track system compromises safety, especially in challenging road conditions. It is vital to address issues promptly and make necessary repairs by a qualified professional to ensure the proper functioning of your vehicle's stability and traction control systems. If you find this video useful, please share it with your friends, and if you have any questions, leave a comment we'll respond. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more.